Hello and welcome back to Scratch Golf Academy. I'm Anthony Vesecchia, uh, level three TPI golf fitness instructor. And today I wanna go over a proper warm up for play and days at the range. So stay tuned and I will get right on to that. Now, before we begin, please like and subscribe. Definitely like this video and rem remember to go ahead and comment as much as you want. I'll always be available to answer your questions and so on and so forth. Now, before we even begin, or the first thing I wanna do before we begin is we're gonna get our shoulders nice and warmed up. The first one that I like to do is a shoulder 90-90 stretch and then we'll get into some dynamic stuff. You saw in my past videos that we did some of the static stuff that you do at home. And then we also did a little workout. Uh, so we will start with some static today, but then we're gonna move into very dynamic movements. So the first one is a shoulder 90, 90. You're gonna be 90 degrees here, 90 degrees here. Take the club and we're going to rotate back on this one. Now don't go really, really far with it at the beginning because remember your muscle is not warmed up yet. So you're just gonna take it nice and easy and we'll do about eight to 10 of those. Okay, you can do it in front as well and off to the side. Okay, remember, very small muscles here. We don't wanna to pull too hard. It's just a small little warm up. Then you'll go to the other side. And just get about eight of these. Just go to that where you feel a small amount of tension. If you go too far, obviously, you can start to cause yourself some problems. So we don't wanna do that. After you've done that, we're gonna take the club right behind our back. We're gonna grab just like this, and we're gonna do a tricep to internal rotation of the shoulder stretch. So we're gonna go right back and forth. Uh, shoulder injuries are probably the second most common injury for male golfers. It's actually the number one injury for female golfers. Uh, and I guess the main reason there is because of the male structure. We have a little bit more muscularity in our upper body than females do. So we tend to have a little bit stronger shoulder joint. All right, now our next one is going to be over the shoulder and back. Some people can do this with both arms at the same time. I cannot, not with the seven iron. If I had a driver, maybe it's possible for me to get there. I'm definitely not gonna be able to do it with the seven. If you have a smaller club that you're warming up with, it's fine to just go ahead and do one side at a time. I will do eight of these on each shoulder as well. Once I finish eight on each side here, I will now move into some of my lower body. So first I'll just use this as a standard basically to prop myself up and I'm just going to do some deep squats. I will do eight to 10 deep squats. Once I finish my deep squats, I will move into a back lunge with the twist and I will rotate legs on this one and always rotate or alternate legs. I will rotate over the leg that's gonna be in front. Some people like to squat forward, which is fine and do it or you can just do the squat backwards. Look at that, I almost messed up. And I'm going to do 12 of these total. Once I finish that, I'm now gonna go into some leg swings. So the next one I'm gonna do is prop my leg up, or prop this to the side so I have some balance. And I'm going to kick through. Now, if you wanna add a little bit more of a quad, quad stretch, I'm gonna do eight of these on each leg. I'm gonna let my heel go to my rear end so I get some stretch in my quad as well. And I'll do eight there, switch to the other side. And if you want, try to get it really high so you are feeling a stretch in your hamstring here. I would say the first four, take it nice and easy, amp up the next four. Then from there, we're just gonna move into the side swing so we can get our adductors and abductors warmed up. These are gonna help with some lateral shift in the golf swing as well. The hamstring is gonna help getting that loose so that you don't get into that early extension that happens with many golfers, especially when they're tight in their lats and in their hamstrings. And then for the last one, you, if you have a problem and your shoulders are still kind of tight and you can't get the club back here, that's fine. You can do it with it in front of you, but I'm gonna go ahead and do it behind. And now we're just gonna get some rotations. So I'm gonna go almost to like my finish, not finish, but at impact position on both sides. I'm not gonna do it just like I was swinging because I wanna get a lot of rotation and internal rotation into my hips. So I'm gonna do 12 of these. And good, now that's pretty much the warm up that I'm gonna do with just the body exercises. Now I'm gonna get into some swings. So the first swing drill that I like to do is a step change. You guys have seen me do this many times. I'll show you from the front. Basically you would set up to a ball and then step behind it and then you would step and swing. I'm not gonna hit balls here, but I'm just gonna show you for warm up sake. 
Now, when you're doing this one, try to make sure that you don't get up here and you step out and you're still doing an actual swing and going because there'd be no reason for the step. The whole point of the step is that as your hands are traveling back, the club is getting ripped back down, okay? So we're trying to work on our kinematic sequence here so that our hips lead the way. So you can see it rip the club down when I do it. Okay, so I'm not gonna go up here, get here, finish the swing and just do a normal swing. I want it to rip down. This is a warm up drill. This is not a swing. So then I would do eight to 10 of those. Then I will go into a pelvic punch. You should hit balls with this pelvic punch, but to see what that looks like, I'm just gonna take the club here to my trail pocket. And from here, I'm going to just punch with my hips. You can, after impact, release the club. It's not, uh, you're not doing like a short set or holding the club off at all. Um, you are gonna finish, but we wanna make sure that the swing is happening from the hips. So again, a pelvic punch would be here and you're just going to punch your hips through. Okay, again, here and punch. And you can hit some balls that way. And a lot of you, if you're not getting your hips turned enough, you're gonna see if you're a right-handed golfer that you're gonna hit a few out to the right. So keep working that until you can start getting them going straight. You don't have to swing hard at first, but let's make sure that you're really getting your hips turned to the target so that you can, you're squaring that club face up and you're not having to do it by flipping your hands, okay? That's the whole most important part about that drill. Then from there, I move into swings and I will start usually with my 54. I'll do five swings with that or however I feel that I've, I've grooved my swing for the day. Then I'll move up to a nine iron, seven iron. Then I will go to my five iron. Then I'll probably hit a hybrid. And then from there, I may go to my three wood, but sometimes I just jump to driver depending on how much time I have if I'm going to play. But I would always start with your smaller, your wedges and work your way up to the longer clubs. Don't do this warm up and just start pounding driver. You're probably gonna pull something in your back, especially if you're not in regular athletics on a daily basis or doing other athletics besides golf where you're used to a lot of movement. And especially if you're a nine to fiver during the week and you play golf on the weekends, please warm up properly. Again, like and subscribe this video and we'll keep bringing you more content. Thank you.